welcome to CPP TV, your dairy source of news around the nest. I'm Nick Fries. And I'm Anna Smith. The student written one act plays start tonight and will go until the 11th at 7.30. There are going to be two one act plays, one musical, and four monologues. Everything is student written and directed. The entire show altogether is about one hour long. There will be an LGBT youth group meeting on Monday, March 13th from 3.15 to 4.15 in room A108. Everyone's welcome. Now here's Sam with the weather. Hello Corning, it is currently 48 degrees and partly cloudy outside. Tomorrow it will remain in the 20s and 30s. Be sure to bundle up and prepare for the elements because there will be snow showers tomorrow and cold weather for the rest of the weekend. That shouldn't stop us all from having a great three days off now. Though, now back to me. <laughs> The regional basketball game will be a whiteout this Sunday. If you have signed up to take the spectator bus, it will be leaving at 1 p.m. If not, tip-off is at 4. If you're interested in forensic science, you can sign up to attend a career panel that takes place on March 27th from 9 to 11. You can get your permission slips in the guidance office. Now here's Bailey. <laughs> Reports. You can sign up in Mrs. Fenderson's office in F201. The two dates available, it's on April 2nd, so <laughs> sign up as soon as possible. There will be a mandatory student council officer meeting on Monday, March 13th after school in D114. All officers must attend. National Honor Society invitations were mailed home to eligible juniors. You must have achieved an accumulative average of 88% to be academically eligible. All NHS applications are due on March 27th. Thanks for watching this episode from CPP TV. Have a great three-day weekend. Have a good weekend.